up here in the top left in the red the Zerg player. Axiom Impact. Down 0-1 right now. It's a massive cheer from the crowd. In fact, from one very vocal fan. <laughs> and to the bottom right in green. One win away from Kodas. Gene Air Green Wings Cure. Terran fans everywhere are going nuts. He could do it. He could be the chosen one. Could be the one to replace Byung at the right hand of Maru. <laughs> Together, holding hands as Jinner players. Yeah. Wrecking Code S. Wrecking it. Doing what they can. So, uh, there's a shot of Alicia. Very famous Protoss player known for Void Ray usage. I wish he were yeah. listening to me. <laughs> that's is that us behind them? Uh, oh, yeah, that is. That's you. That's me. <laughs> um, I'm like so excited to be on camera. I'm like, oh my god. I'm back to back with Alicia. <laughs> back to back, we're working together, covering both sides. I'll look forward at the camera, he'll look at the screen. <laughs> we got both sides covered. No weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, Alicia and the Axum players always uh, been pretty close to me and Calder back in the GSTL days especially. Uh, but even before then, Alicia had just been a really fun guy when he was on Slayers, for example. Gas going down here early for impact, but not as early as we saw last game. You know, sort of like hyper fast speed. Yeah. Overlord's making their way over, getting the scout down. They will see soon that it's just going to be Reapers. Very, very standard. And seeing how well Impact uh, really warded off the Reapers in the first game, I wouldn't be surprised if he just has those Zerglings right there on the edge um, where you can jump up into the main, that is. Yeah. Just defending. Going to need a little bit more time, though. The first Reaper should be able to get him before Lings are complete. Yeah. Yeah, and he's making a second. We'll actually do that double jump. On the left side. It's a bit too high for a regular Reaper jump, but the second one. Okay, it gets in there. He's a gas mining. We'll click the gas to know how long it's been in there. And these lings will be warded off. Four lings, I don't think you should be able to kill any of them, even off creep, because they'll just run back. Yeah, he's even got two more coming out here. Might be able to get one. He targets it. Oh. Nice. Nice one there. Almost gets a drone. Drone. So close. That was such a sick bait by uh, <laughs> Impact. He was hoping he was really going to commit there. Yeah. Second Reaper who's going to come in. He might be able to get it. As these are a bit split up. He's going for it. And he gets it. Very, very nicely done. I don't know this if he knows so it's nice. okay. There he goes. Could go for that one as well. Oh, very nice. Putting down the Spore Crawler. Oh, Reaper gets surrounded as well ah. as he's migrating the other one. Oh, he's actually migrating this. This is uh, the reason, I suppose, why they leave those Reapers at home. Because sometimes two Lings actually sneak out. It takes a long time to cross the map. But if you get over there, you can kill an SCV and delay the CC. Yeah. So I suppose that's why they're leaving those Reapers at home. We were talking about this earlier. I saw that eight, Reap uh, eight Zerglings were being made, and only six popped out of the main hatchery. So I was like, where are those other two? And they actually were just going down. Well, these Lings got a bit ahead of themselves. I think all of them should go down here without a single kill. Yeah. Decent micro here. Now they can just go back to that little ledge, jump up and down once again. Roach Warren on the way. Ooh. Very, very early here. I don't know how much I like this on this map, though. Could work, could be very surprising, but if the Reapers see it, that's why he's got these units poised to defend it. There's a queen over there. He had a, a lean or two over there, too. Now that speed's done, he's going to go be a bit more aggressive. There's actually no bunker and no wall, only two Reapers literally on the map. So these SCVs down here on the low ground should be picked off. Actually, might catch the Reaper. He gets one. Very nice catch there, and a lot of speedlings here. Only two Hellions out just yet, and these three, uh, these fourlings, are going to get to work on some of those SCVs at the natural. Going to uh, get he, to work on that supply depot as well. He was even brave enough to lower the depot to let the SCVs in. One depot goes down, which actually supply blocks him. Yeah. And the Roach follow-up is coming. He has no idea. He has no way to scout with no Reapers. Unless a blind scan went down, he'd have nothing uh, he could do to defend this. He's got to swap those add-ons before he can make a siege tank. 
And Hellion Marine is not going to be very good against a large amount of roaches with Ling support. No, it's not. He thinks it's just a bunch of Lings, and he wants to go ward him off with these Hellions right now. He's moving out a bit. Although he is being careful. He knows that danger could lie at the top of that ramp. He has no vision of anything. There's no way for him to scout these. He doesn't have any Hellions moving out. It's a very well-planned build by Impact. He can move out with the Lings to keep the Hellions from crossing the map. And that's when the Roaches get here. By the time the Roaches are seen, they're already so close, there's no time. Oh, trying to get that surround, but it doesn't look like he will. Very nicely micro here by Kiri. He's going to kill all of these Zerglings. And that's that, going to take away hugely from this push. Exactly. That really hurts this push. Just going to kite back with these Hellions now. There's a few more uh, Marines on the high ground. 16 more Zerglings on the way. He's going to go ahead and target these Ebays down, but he just needs to make like one more Ebay, and he's got a wall. Yep. Actually fighting with SCVs here. SCVs for the tanks should be enough here, but he tries to get the Zerglings in, and the Hellions in the back are getting focused down by these Roaches, but it looks like it's too much Terran here. Yeah, losing those Lings really, really hurt this push. We can't stress it enough. You're so right, Brennan. It's, yeah. That's what really cost him here. And now it's three CCs, 33 SCVs to 22, two Ebays. I am feeling like it's going to take more than a miracle for Impact to win this one. He's got a bunker now. Like, there's no way he can get in there. It's he just needs to turn happen. around and try he's, to drone He's droning up. up now. This is his only choice. He's way behind, but this is what he has to do right now. See this Overlord in here pretty awkward as uh, Kira's dealing with the push in the front of the base, but he's going to get a full scout on everything. Stim is done. That insult to injury oh, here. God. Combat shields are on the way. 1-1 one, one has started now, and the lair is only now just begun. No Evo Chambers. No third hatchery started. There are only two roaches left, so 11 Hellions versus 25 Zerlings. You do the math. This is not going to be a good situation. Supply blocked as well now with the death of that Overlord. We're seeing a counterattack coming here with some of these Zerlings. It doesn't look like he's going to commit to it just yet. Seeing the Hellions there, I could imagine why he would want to, but... It's just so, uh, it's almost a wall set up. There's a bunker there. Could maybe pick off some of these units. Only a small victory here, but a victory nonetheless. Yeah. Starting to make that lair. It's almost complete. And finally, that third hatch does get down. It's just got like two roaches, two more on the way. Uh -oh. And, uh oh, the armory is done! This is just so much. Hell is being unleashed on this base. The power of Terran. The yeah. bats are pushing in, and they're doing a ton of damage. This Look one at the guy targeting here. on those drones to make sure he's killing the worker line while these uh, hell bats over here are actually killing everything else. So awesome. These guys are so tanky. Looks like they will finally be taken out, but again, just more and more damage being done. Killing the Lings, taking away that speed link control. 1-1's one, getting done. And look at the powering barracks up here. He's got so many barracks powered up now. So many reactors to produce, and he's going to be able to have 1-1 one, one upgrades when he goes and medevacs. Yeah. Third base still not complete. Baneling Ness that's on the way right now is absolutely critical. Without that, he will easily be crushed by this army yeah. as soon as it moves out. Everything you said is so true. If you just look at numbers here, you might be, oh, like, so army supplies are pretty close, right? Not in like two, three minutes. Trust me. Like, this yeah. is going to get crazy here. Once all those barracks start really getting powered up, things uh, are going to get out of control. Plus, third base saturation and the armory, which has been long done, will allow 2 2 upgrades to start. Should Cure have second thoughts about moving out this early? The scan here reveals there are no drones at that base, which probably is going to let him know, you know, I could probably stick around here at my third a little bit longer, just kind of chill out, hit him with an even later push. I don't really need to kill him right now. There's a high chance he's making army units and a baneling nest just to be safe because he knows I could probably kill him if he were being greedy and droning. Now Cure positioning his army down here in between the natural and the third bases. It looks like he does kind of want out and move out here a little bit on the map. Roach speed on the way. He's really relying on roaches here. Well, it's a big part of his army already, so got to make him work, I guess. Yeah. Mutilus would shut down drops so well, but I guess he doesn't have to worry about too many drops just yet. There's only the first two medevacs are out. Third and fourth will join shortly. Now, looking at this army supply, it's only 11 up right now for Cure, but he's got so much reinforcing power, and he has those better upgrades. Yeah. Some Hellbats in here as well, and starting to add those Widow Mines. Baneling speed is just starting now. He doesn't even have any Banelings just yet. He's morphing the first five now. Roach speed isn't ready yet either. 
Yeah, he's just going to oh, fight man. this with Marauders. The Banelings will be targeted down, forced to cancel here. Way too much DPS in this Terran army. There's a lot of Roaches, and you may eventually be able to push this back. But the trade here is always going to be good for Cure. Because he can pick up, leave with his cost-efficient army, go back to his reinforcements, which he's been streaming across the map. There's an explosion from those barracks. 65 Harvesters to 52, plus triple mules. Triple bunker here, because he's like... What if, you know, what if I mess this up and yeah. he goes for a counterattack, I suppose? It's like one of the only things that can kill him at this point. Like, if he botches an attack and some big counterattack with Lings and Banelings and Roaches come, I think he should be okay. Safety first. And now he's going to move down the ramp here, start to engage. It's actually not a good engagement. He's fighting into a concave. Probably just wants to lift up and go here. I mean, he's 2-2 two -two is about to be done, but it's not quite ready yet. Yeah. He's he going to go up. harass. Oh, oh my god! Oh! oh my god! A gigantic Widowmine shot! And he's got it's another so one! Many. He's got another one here! GG! Oh! <laughs> Terran! Power here! Terrans! Terrans with an S! There are two Terrans in Kodas! He's done it! Kira's done it! Rejoice, Terrans around the world and Jinair and Kira fans! Your boy has done it. He's done it. He's in. He doesn't look too happy about it. <laughs> Maybe the emotions is hitting them really hard right now. Gonna say, Impact played very well today. Really impressive play, a lot of flexibility, a lot of ability to be aggressive against players, you know, perhaps he feels are maybe better than he is in the macro game. Uh, definitely showing, I feel, honestly, the most flexibility out of any player in this group today. Just yep. being able to do all-ins, play macro games, play some mid-game aggressions, using Roach compositions, using, you know, Mutaling, Baneling. Definitely true. He, he, had, he was tested the most, I have to say, out of all the yeah, players. Yeah, he had to play all three matchups as well. And he did like decently well. It wasn't good enough to get those wins, but he was so close. Yeah. So close. Really, really impressive play today. We're going to take a look at today's results. Uh, we're going to see a little graphic pop up and let you guys uh, take a closer look. Starting yeah. things off with Cure winning 2 1 over Hydra, and then Rain beating Impact 2 0. And then Rain got the 2 0 over Cure in that winner's match. Impact wins 2 0 over Hydra kicking him out and then having that last final match between Impact and Cure. Cure takes it 2-0, brings another Terran into Code S. And we're going to take a look at tomorrow's matches. Our final matches for this week. It's Group E, Shine versus TY. Uh-oh. And Biel versus Sky High. Two Terrans in one group. So that's going to be a good one. And in the evening, Tails versus Hush and a Protoss versus a Protoss. And then Symbol versus Flash, the man oh himself. Oh my god, tomorrow is going to be so cool. Tomorrow's going to be the best day of the week, so I'm make so sure you tune in, tell your friends, spread the word. We'll be here at 1 p.m. and then of course again at 6 p.m. It's Friday and it's a good day to be Friday. I'm so happy I'm going to be casting that with you, Wolf. Me it's too, be man. so, so much fun. So many amazing games on that day. Definitely going to be sick, so spread the word. A lot is on the line. Can Flash Get back into Code S. How many Terran players are going to make it through? Three of them will be competing tomorrow. It's been a good day. Any closing thoughts, Brendan? Just a good day. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow especially. Me too. We'll see you guys there at 1 p.m. Korean Standard Time.